Then I shall say, someone help me to get out. I can't do it alone because I've lost one of my legs. They'll all laugh and think that I'm joking and I shall say, all right, come and have a look. Then Yorkie will climb up onto the wing and look inside. He'll probably be sick because of all the blood and the mess. I shall laugh and say, for God's sake, help me out. He glanced down again at his right leg. There was not much of it left. The cannon shell had taken him on the side, just above the knee, and now there was nothing but a great mess and a lot of blood. But there was no pain. When he looked down, he felt as though he were seeing something that did not belong to him. It had nothing to do with him. It was just a mess which happened to be there in the cockpit. Something strange and unusual and rather interesting. It was like finding a dead cat on the sofa. He really felt fine, and because he still felt fine, he felt excited and unafraid. I won't even bother to call up on the radio for the blood wagon, he thought. It isn't necessary, and when I land, I'll sit there quite normally and say, some of you fellows come and help me out, will you, because I've lost one of my legs. That will be funny. I'll laugh a little while I'm saying it. I'll say it calmly and slowly, and they'll think I'm joking. When Yorkie comes up onto the wing and gets sick, I'll say, Yorkie, have you fixed my car yet? Then when I get out, I'll make my report and later I'll go up to London. I'll go and visit Bluey. We'll sit in her room and drink. I'll get the water out of the bathroom tap. I won't say much until it's time to go to bed. Then I'll say, Bluey, I've got a surprise for you. I lost a leg today. But I don't mind so long as you don't. It doesn't even hurt. We'll go everywhere in cars. I always hated walking except when I walked 